Hello YouTubes. So today I'm going to be doing a video on the Battle Wizard. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of trying out all the different classes and trying to find what makes them work best for me. Um, I know that the Battle Wizard is not a huge, uh, doesn't bring a lot to the table uh, in terms of uh, interpersonal uh, expectations in the Legend rank. Um, however, I feel that if more people understood uh, that she can be very mobile, she can be very good control on the battlefield, uh, that more people would pick her up and see her as a viable option in the late game. Um, I think that right now, uh, Shore, the Pyromancer, and Unchained are uh, much more popular, at least in terms of you've got your you've got your tank, you've got your range uh, control, um, but the battle wizard can be just as effective and I'm going to show you how. Um, I usually like to run with the dagger. I'm not a super huge fan of it because it's a little bit harder uh, to get off the headshots and take out armor a little bit. It also does not have a very good block radius. Um, I do like to stack a little bit of stamina on it uh, just to give me a few more tings. Um, but when you're surrounded, it's going to be really hard to keep that up, especially once you get staggered out of it. Um, in which case, it's probably a better option for you to maybe run with just a regular sword. Um, every third attack is going to be a headshot. Um, your charged attacks aren't going to bring much to the table, so it allows you to just kind of flail around wildly, hit the armor, hit the armor, hit the head. Um, and that's okay. And it's going to give you a lot more defensibility as well because it has a much wider arc uh, for stamina and uh, block range. Uh, but again, I like to use the dagger, and that's 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 got multi purposes here. Um, it's not just the speed; it's the mobility. By doing this, you can get across the battlefield a little bit quicker. I think it's a stupid mechanic, and it doesn't really need to be there. But hey, why not take advantage of it while you can? You're probably going to need it anyway if you're playing Battle Wizard. Um, so into the build, uh, I think that this particular class, and most people would probably already come around to this, that it's going to benefit better by using a staff that requires some level of charge to it, whether that be the fireball staff, maybe even the bolt staff, probably wasted on that, and the conflagration staff. Um, I currently am fortunate enough to have a red conflagration staff. Um, but that's what I like to use. That's what I leveled her with. Um, I thought it was fun because it was easy to position. It was easy to cast. I didn't get into the Pyromancer and the Unchained until I hit 25 before I started tooling around with them. Um, so I'm coming back to it now. And I've played it in the late game. And it's very effective. It gives me a lot of, again, mobility. Uh, it gives me a lot of control of the battlefield and my surroundings. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to choose is your increased attack charge speed. This is important to have because you're going to use this all of the time. You're not going to have it just some of the time. It's going to be all of the time. Um, unlike using rechannel and, and having burning vigor up, um, where these are only used in very particular situations. If you find yourself constantly in the melee fight and you're not very good yet with your charged abilities on your staff, then by all means, feel free to drop rechannel. Yes, it is a very specific thing to use. You have to wait for a cooldown to be able to use it, in which case Burning Vigor might be your friend. Um, but for all intents and purposes, uh, for this build specifically, I want to keep it as offensive as possible. Um, so, World of Flame. Uh, this is where you're going to be surrounded by guys, you're going to dash through guys, you may not make it all the way through, you need a little bit more power to get them down a little bit more quickly. A good defense here is a very quick and heavy offense, and you're going to get that from World of Flame. Uh, when it comes to Molten Skin, I don't see that as being a very viable option. If, if uh, your Battle Wizard is the last person standing, you should probably rethink your... your uh, I don't want to say the people in your group, but maybe your comp, um, how that group is composed. Uh, or maybe, you know, scale it back a bit, go down to difficulty. <laughs> it's just not very good to use. Um, stun duration being hit by enemies, again, not something you're going to want to use all the time because the idea is, is to stay away from enemies. You don't want to be in the middle of the fight all the time. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't have Firewalk. It wouldn't be here. Um, so 
Soul Snare, this is kind of a given. Everybody's using this. Um, most people are using this. Uh, if you don't have it, it's probably frowned upon by some. But hey, you know, if you want to use Blazing Harvest, which is purely situational, uh, or if you want to play to the crit game, if you can stack that much crit, now which I am, and I should probably try it out, but I know I'm going to kill stuff faster than I'm going to hit and crit stuff. Um, so that being said, this is the obvious choice. Now, as far as your uh, level 25 tier options, um, I'm going to prefer Burnout because there have been quite a few big heavy hordes uh, that don't go down that quickly. And I need to be able to burn through my staff as much as possible to keep them down on the ground so everyone can kill, everyone can get their hits in. This allows me to keep that pressure going. Um, without having to vent. You don't want to vent. It's got to be quick. Um, the reduced cooldown on the firewalk is its good. I like it. I like to have it because it keeps me moving around more, but it doesn't bring anything to the table as far as being able to maintain the DPS like Burnout does. Um, if you just want to be fun and dash around all over the place, then by all means take it but it will become useless and not as viable as being able to have this constant uptime on your staff. Uh, Lava Walker, I don't think should be used in any circumstance, um, just because if you're in Champion, you're in Legend, this is friendly fire damage. You don't want to leave this stuff down on the ground. In fact, you'll probably feel pr pretty guilty uh, early on. Uh, you might even get bitched at a few times by your friends um, just by using your fire walk in general. Um, that being said, you can be mindful of how you use it. You won't always be. Um, so this is what your talent should look like. Uh, I'm not going to go into descriptors of why, you know, Reckless Haste and Surge, why these things work together with it. I think it should be obvious, or you should at least take your own time to think about it and look at it uh, in perspective in comparison to the build. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a bot play because I made a video previously. Uh, where's a good open area? Let's go with the. Well, I don't know if I like starting off in the field. Uh, how about Fort Braxton Breaker? All right. Um, do I want to do Legend? With? No. I don't trust my bots loadout right now. Uh, I'm gonna do Champion bots make this a private game and um, do a quick run through. There are packs sworn everywhere right now and if it wasn't for Fort Braxenbrooker they'd be even farther afield. I'd suggest you get out there and make sure Fort Braxenbrooker holds. Avoid the siege lines by taking a secret path down by the river. Chances are the rat men know about it. But All right, I'm gonna dev console skip just to get things moving. Now, I don't know if my bots are gonna be able to keep up with the pacing that I'm going to have. I do like the speed potions for this build. In fact, I don't even think playing with bots is going to really allow me to showcase what this can do. Um, another thing, you don't want to have your staff out uh, picking off stuff like this because you're going to lose your uh, your, your rechannel buff. Um, you want to keep that for when the horde comes or when you've got a dense heavy pack, uh, maybe even a special. It staggers pretty much everything all the way down to Chaos Knights. Uh, like that group right there, maybe I could burn it on them. Uh, maybe it might be a bad idea because we might get an ambush right after. Um, so here comes a gutter runner. I don't want to waste it on him. I'll just let my bots take it. You don't have to hit everything all the time. The idea around this build is to be defensible, maintain control on the field. Like right then, I didn't want to waste it there because now we've got this. But that's okay. We still have that 15% increased attack. Oh. Alright, let's get out of this bridge. I'm not gonna bother checking the house. I'm just playing with bots. Wanna get a horde. 
not a boss. I want a horde. <laughs> I should have knew. Uh, I should have known. All right. Well, you know, screw it. I'm gonna keep him out. I'm gonna see his, see if I can get far enough to uh, spawn some more. Go. No, I guess not. Okay. Let's get up here with my group. Alright, so now my cooldown is about ready. So find me a good spot to get in. This is really just kind of unfortunate. I don't like uh I don't like the positioning of any of this. There's more beautiful ways to play. Back on your feet, Gruber. Alright. Guess we could have hit the boss a few times. Now, the single shot attack, this little fireball blast uh, that the conflagration staff has. Um, is actually pretty decent. You can uh, you can headshot armored enemies with it. Um, you can even go so far as to uh, take out stuff at range with a nice pointed shot. But again, you have to be very specific with it. Um, I also don't like having to utilize my. having to utilize my. Uh, my venting on overcharge either. Um, I'm just doing it to get this boss down. In a perfect world, I shouldn't have to do that. Alright. Moving along. I'm going to go ahead and top off. Uh, my bots can fend for themselves. There you go, bot. Of course, elf bots can elf. Ah, you regen. Why did you take that? Gruber needed it. Typical elf. Alright, so as you can see, mild stagger on the Storm Vermin. Um, depending on how you cast, when you cast, and where you cast, um, it will affect them differently. Uh, let's see if I can get him more in the center. Yeah. Maybe not. Alright. Moving along. This should be fun. Of course, there's none of that rock was there. And, uh, <laughs> just like that, my bots are all down. <laughs> Let's see if I can keep this up. <laughs> As you can see, the idea is to 
maintain control of the battlefield, and that is by just conflagration and mobility. Um, <laughs> but uh, when you get stabbed from midair, uh, <laughs> there's not much you can do about it. All right. Well, that's the build. Ideally, that's how you want to play it. You want to keep moving. You want to keep casting, moving, casting, uh, clear, cast, move, cast. And eventually, you can take out these big hordes. When it becomes too unwieldy, um, it, it gives you control. It, it lets you put the pause button on their movement. And that's, I think, the most important thing. And it brings a lot to the table when it comes to Legend. Um, just because it allows your guys to uh, not have to focus on stuff moving behind them. Uh, you know, uh, flanking them. And that's what you do. That's what it does, and I hope to see more people start to use it. Again, thank you for watching my video. I will have more coming soon. I think next I'm going to start working on a video for Salt Spire, a fun little bounty hunter uh, build that I've got going on. And that's it for me. Adios.